Hi, so this is my response to Abby and Molly's discussion that they posted their video. I wasn't able to be there. Um, so I also thought this chapter was kind of interesting in how it related to our phonics in our phonics test. Um, I kind of brought out some importance of um, the sound spelling relationships and how we need to use spelling rather than letters and how um, they can break the orthographic code um, and teaching students linguistic terms. Um, I also thought um, Abby's question of should be uh, tested over individual words. Um, I agree with Molly about how we need to break down the word patterns because I also was a student that um, was graded on spelling tests and that the book said and that wasn't really a great thing. Um, I think it was really interesting just because um, I grew up that way and I feel like um, it caused a lot of like test anxiety, um, especially for like kids that like aren't um, fluent in spelling and they aren't the best at spelling. Um, I think that there should be like breaking down word patterns more in advance. Um, and that also the word ladder piece, I thought that was really cool because um, we did learn this in uh, 372 and I remember doing mine. Um, and I think it's just a really unique way for making word ladders more fun for students and making it more effective and that um, all of these activities are making it powerful uh, just in the classroom and working with um, phonics and sound spelling and alphabetic awareness. Um, I really like when they show routines here um, for a possible routine that we can use um, with phonemic awareness, um, review, uh, word reading, spelling. I think it's all really cool. I think this was a great chapter. Um, and I think that Molly and Abby kind of covered a lot of my basis with the book and the um, overview of it. But I really like chapter seven.